Hello everyone, welcome to this week's weekly vlog. Let's take a seat because we're going to have a little chat. Firstly, my hair looks like it's got dust in it. It's because I've put like hair powder in, so that's that. Secondly, um, the most important thing I wanted to say is thank you everyone for your response on my video last week about my pregnancy announcement. It's Monday today, so the video went up yesterday and the response has just been amazing. Like, I knew there was no reason to be for me to be nervous, but everyone's just been so nice and so lovely, and it's the it's it justifies the reason I wanted to do that video because to me this is like my community, like extended friendships, I suppose, and I have such a positive like the comment section of my videos is always so positive and encouraging and just a really pleasant place to be. So I couldn't wait to tell you guys as soon as I knew um, that we were going to have a baby and I felt excited too and I just feel so happy that like now everyone knows and it's out there and I can talk about it really openly and that you're on this journey with me now and it just feels like I've just sat down and told a few more friends. And it's things like this where it's like this is why social media is great because when you're going through a, quite a unique experience it's amazing to be able to connect with people <clears throat> and even just some of you that were like oh I felt like that and I, you know it was so nice of you to talk that way about pregnancy because that's exactly how I felt and I had so many messages on Instagram from people just saying how much they related to it and how excited they are for me and it's just so nice to make those connections and I know social media gets such a bad rap especially recently which I completely understand but this is where it's like these are the great aspects of it being able to relate to people and build connections and I guess make yourself feel better you can do that with social media and it's times like this where it's like this is why it's such a great a great thing to be able to use and tap into so it just makes me really happy um, to start connecting with women uh, on in this way I suppose I'm still quite ill um, I have put some makeup on to try and make myself look a bit more presentable but my nose is very very dry <laughs> and yeah we're still uh, battling through the cold which is annoying I've been taking it easy today so far but I am actually about to go on a little adventure to go and pick up a baby car seat. <laughs> now I didn't anticipate starting to buy anything baby this soon. I was going to leave it until it seems about week 20 is when people do it. Because week 20 is when you have your big scan. I mean your 12 week scan is when it's considered like safe, okay you're pregnant, you can tell people but you know you never know what's going to happen and the 20 week scan apparently is like the big one. And then from then it's kind of, you know, smooth sailing. Um, so, yeah, I didn't anticipate buying anything. And especially not anything big until after them. But the thing about having a baby is it is so expensive, especially when it's your first one because of everything that you have to get. Oh, sorry. Because of everything that you have to get. I've started to think about what we're going to need. I haven't made a list yet. But I've started to think about the big things that we need, like a cot and a changing table and like a sleepy head and all that kind of stuff and all this stuff is really expensive so it is good to spread it out but I joined some mum and baby groups on Facebook because my pregnant friends or friends that are now parents said it was a good thing to do because often people will sell things on there and I definitely feel very strongly about getting second hand when you can especially with big things like a car seat for example so we don't actually have a car at the moment but I do anticipate that we'll probably get one like in the next year or so but the reason for getting this one now is because well mainly because it came up on this Facebook group and it's £30 and I looked on John Lewis and the same model would be £200 to buy new so it was just too good to pass up as I say we don't have a car at the moment but the hospital does specify that you need to leave with the baby in a car seat so whoever's car we go in, my mum will probably come and stay, so maybe it'll go in hers and she'll pick us up. We haven't decided that yet, but 
it does specify that you need to leave with a car seat and this car seat is from newborn up until four years old so just knowing that we probably will get a car within that time when i saw this for 30 pounds i thought we may as well get it because the car seat specifically i just didn't want to spend a lot of money on because to me it's not a massive essential for us at this point but i know that we might need it so yeah, I just couldn't say no to £30 for a new for a car seat, which looks pretty much new. I just spoke for ages about that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to go and pick that up. And then I'm going to just kind of come home and then sit on the sofa and chill again. Because yeah, this cold just won't go. And I need it to because I can't, you know, I don't want to be ill. Um, I did do hair yesterday, which I don't think was the best thing to do. But that's another thing. I am still very much doing hair, by the way, in case any of you want to come and see me. Yeah, but it's difficult because when you're pregnant, especially when you get ill, it's not just you. So I have to really look after myself, whereas usually I just push through. Um, so yeah, I, hair yesterday probably wasn't the best idea for my recovery, but <clears throat> I have taken it a lot easier today. Okay, so slight rookie mistake with the car seat already. So here it is. Hi, we picked this up. Oh, great condition put a little bear in there already so there's a little baby bear already in there um also actually just on the subject of this little baby bear here yeah so the vlog that i put up before my recent pregnancy one i said oh someone in our family sent us flowers how lovely um and it, they were from my dad and they were um for me and Hainsey to celebrate um our news because we told our family and someone commented saying Oh, I knew, I thought you were pregnant because I thought that's what those flowers from your family were for. And it's funny because in that vlog I only showed you the flowers, but they did also come with this little teddy bear, which I didn't show you because I knew that would give it away. Anyway, so little bear's just modelling the car seat for us. So, I mean, a great, a great find, absolute bargain, if it's what you need. Now... <laughs> This is great, absolute bargain. The only thing is, it is just a car seat. So it's not one that's got a handle that's attached that you can then pull and hold this kind of independently from the car seat, just out and about, which is really what I wanted because I was like, well then we can carry the baby out of the hospital in that, maybe use that around town and then also have it as a car seat. This is not that because you can see there's no, there's no handle around here basically don't jump at the chance at secondhand things until you've done your research and this is my rookie mistake i just didn't even know that that didn't exist do you know what i mean like i, I haven't really looked into it properly i was just like oh my god 30 pound baby seat yes it's not ideal because now looking at it those are better because you can do more with them and some of them then also clip onto a push chair as well as in the back of a car seat i mean there's a whole world of options that I just didn't even know existed but as you know as we say it serves me right I'll keep it for a bit and then we'll just see what happens I can always sell it again I'll give it to charity um it wasn't expensive so at least now I know that that is um that is something that's an option so yeah there we go I've made that mistake so that prospective mums out there that are yet to be mums don't have to also just while I'm here I am actually selling this iMac. I was thinking of putting on eBay. Um, it will be pickup only, but I just thought I'd uh, offer it out to you guys. I'll put the specifications of it in the description below. Um, but yeah, if you want to make me an offer on it, I am based in Surrey, Southwest London, Surrey area for pickup. Um, but yeah, it's a 21 and a half inch screen. I got it in like 2015. So if you or anyone you know is in the market for a Big Mac, <laughs> then let me know. Otherwise I'm gonna put it on eBay. Uh, just because, sorry, I will go back. I'm gonna talk about this room again in a minute, but <clears throat> this is gonna be, this is our second bedroom, but it's gonna be where baby stuff is gonna be. And I never ever use this MacBook. And unfortunately, I love this desk. I don't know if any of you remember when I moved um, a while ago, ages ago actually. My brother made that desk for me and I love it, but with having to kind of think about making room for all these baby things, I just don't use that. Sorry, the telly's probably really loud. I just don't use that um, computer because I have my laptop 
and there's no point in just sitting there i may as well sell it get some money for it and then also make room for what what i imagine will go there is like the changing table with drawers underneath to put all the baby's clothes in and stuff um and then we'll move the double bed because i don't want to get rid of the double bed so yeah i'll talk about this like later on in the week but we're basically not going to make it into a proper nursery because we don't really need to and we rent the flat and all that kind of stuff so yes that is where we are now i am probably gonna end this vlog for today because i'm just gonna make dinner sit on the sofa um and re-watch love is blind really because there's nothing else on oh god well, i'm just think apart from celebs go dating at 9 p.m my voice has just gone really deep <laughs> that's monday Good morning everyone, it's Thursday. I have just woken up, which is why perhaps I've still got mascara on apparently. I still feel not 100%, I'm much better than I was a couple of days ago. Um, I've been at work the last two days and I think that's kind of just tired me out because I didn't do anything for like five days, I was in bed, well apart from the day that I just had, but you know what I mean. Um, once you've been ill and you go back to work I feel like takes it out of you doesn't it so i'm just making some porridge um i'm gonna have that for breakfast i'm just waiting for hainsey to wake up then we are going to watch the love is blind uh reunion i saw some clips of it yesterday and i mean it looks pretty good so i'm very excited about that but i'm not gonna watch it without him because it's like we watch it together I'm doing hair this evening, but I'm off today, so I'm gonna take it easy because like I say, I don't feel that great. It's very gloomy and rainy outside. So I still feel very congested. I'm not actually very snotty, sorry um, for that information, but I feel just like there's still lots of pressure in my head. So yeah, it's just kind of hanging around, isn't it? And everyone's a bit paranoid about the old coronavirus now, so. It's just better to lay low, I think. Also, we just received these beautiful flowers a couple of days ago from my management team to say congratulations to me and Hainsley for our news. So that was so lovely of them. And I just think, if this is what pregnancy is, people just send you flowers and are really nice to you. I'm gonna do this more often. <laughs> Porridge is done. As you may remember, I have just been eating white toast for breakfast every morning recently. But I don't know if it's because it's been well, actually, no, because it's been cold and gloomy forever, actually. But, yeah, I have been feeling like porridge recently. I don't know if it's because I want, like, comfort food or anything like that. But still quite plain, just with some brown sugar on. Because you can't go wrong with porridge and brown sugar. It's a classic. A classic partnership. Okay, we're dressed. <clears throat> I'm ready for, well, kind of ready for the day. I need to do my hair to make myself just feel a bit better. Wash my face, put some moisturizer on. I just have my lazy clothes. This really old jumper from H&M, which I really like because it's kind of like, um, <clears throat> I call it my French jumper, because I just, you can't really see the knit on it, I don't think, but it's almost like a school jumper. But I feel like the fit of it is very kind of French, like it should be a Breton stripe perhaps. And then I've got my Uniqlo men's <clears throat> like lazy pants on i'm just going to take a seat down here actually because we're going to have a chat about something that um i've obviously i've been thinking about since i found out i was pregnant but i've been thinking about a lot more in the last few days really and that is career and pregnancy being a mum and having a career i don't know and i'm sure this is probably something that every mum feels it's just, I don't know, not something that's like scaring me. I've always been someone that's had a career and had ambitions and worked. I've always wanted kids and was very much like, you know, I'll take my maternity leave, but still have, you know, go back to work and everything. And I don't know if it's because I'm more freelance now that it's more daunting, but I've just kind of found myself thinking, I don't know how to describe the feeling. It's not ashamed of being pregnant, that's not what I mean at all, but almost <clears throat> a 
with some people and in some aspects of my life, I haven't been as forthcoming to want to tell people that I'm pregnant. And that is within my work. I have a part-time job, which is just kind of a means to an end. It helps me pay my rent and helps me do all my freelance stuff around it. Um, and I was fine telling them because that's a normal procedure. I told them I'll have maternity leave, then I'll go back afterwards. Um, and that's, you know, all very um, par for the course. So I wasn't nervous about that. But in my freelance, like doing hair and I do some other kind of freelancey bits of which I've had some opportunities come up. I've just felt very apprehensive, I suppose, about telling people that I'm pregnant. So when I've had clients come to my home to do hair, I haven't always told them, like they're like, oh, so what's going on with you? I haven't told some of them. And I don't, I do understand the reason for that, but yeah, it's just something that I wanted to highlight because I'm sure that I'm not the only one that feels like this. And the more these things are talked about, the better, because it's not a, it's not a problem. But there's part of me that worries that if I tell people <laughs> that I'm pregnant, they're gonna just write me off. Um, oh, well, she's not gonna come back to work. Oh, well, you know, we probably won't hear from her. She probably won't work as much after she's had a baby. Do you know what I mean? And um, that makes me quite nervous because, as I say, I'm someone that has always worked, especially now being someone that's, like, I suppose a business owner. Um, I have aspirations for that. I want that to grow. I want that to continue. So to take some kind of time out is a bit daunting because you just don't want people to write you off and forget about you or think that you're not as capable because you're going to be distracted. And I think that's a very... That's an issue that I think all women face when they become a mother, is that worry that people are going to judge you and judge your ability to do the job that you've always been able to do very well and that there's going to be an effect on that. It's going to be lacking or there's going to be a compromise because you now have other priorities. And that's the very difficult thing for women, particularly trying to balance both. But there is no reason why you can't still be who you are and I think it's the worry that <clears throat> people are I don't know there's a certain aspect of like oh I'll just be a mum and it's not you're just a mum because that's the most important job in the world and whether you still have a career or you are a stay-at-home mum you are never just a mum you are you you are a person you are yourself. I'm aware that you might feel like you've lost yourself <laughs> when you first have a baby, but you are a person and you had a life before you had a baby and you will continue to have a life after. It's all these conflicting thoughts I think that you get when you're pregnant and you think about having a family that make you feel like that. I'll just be written off. I'm just going to be a mum. I'm not going to, you know, people aren't going to take me seriously. I, I'm just, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm trying to get across. I don't really have a conclusion, but it's just things that are like entering my head as I'm moving forward in this journey and yeah, career and <clears throat> people prejudging me because I am pregnant or I will have a young baby is something that I do feel a bit like worried about. Um, I'm aware that things can't just go on as they were. I'm going to have a lot less time. I'm very lucky because I do have Hainsley. He works very flexibly. I do have my family. So actually this is perfect and this is why I went freelance because I'm very lucky in the sense that I can have the baby and... I don't have to commit to going back to work in the same way that someone else that has an employed job would have to do. I can pick and choose how much I want to go back to work and I could go back to work two months after having the baby because I could do a day here and there if I wanted to. It's just something that's been on my mind that I felt like was important to raise because you guys were so lovely on my last vlog <clears throat> with even just me talking about things and having you say, I complete. I really related to that. That's exactly how I felt. Makes me feel better, um, and so it's lovely to know that I'm making some of you feel better as well by talking about certain things that are possibly maybe a bit of a struggle um, around this time. And yeah, so I just I felt like it was important to talk about this because I feel like in pregnancy vlogs I've watched, I haven't really heard anyone talk about their worries about their career and having a baby. So I feel, I don't know, maybe I'm just like, I don't know what their experience is. Oh, hi. How are you? <laughs> Hainsy's just walked in his pants. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm very lucky girl that I get to see this on a daily basis, actually. So he's putting it away now, he's getting dressed. Um, but yeah, so I was coming to the end anyway. I just felt like I wanted to highlight that. So 
yeah, it'd be good to hear any of your, those of you that might have had thoughts around that and possibly if you've already had the baby, like if, if it was even an issue. That's what I've been thinking. This is a funny angle. Is it? It's okay actually, isn't it? You're just on my floor sort of looking up at me because I'm just doing my hair. So I'm getting ready um, because I have a client this evening who is a new client, which is exciting. Um, she's coming for, well, she definitely wants a cut and she wants to discuss colour, potentially a balayage. So I thought I'd spruce myself up. I feel like I couldn't find my words earlier and some may attribute this to baby brain, uh, but I think it's just, I generally sometimes find it hard to find words. But when I was saying about feeling um, like, an not anxious, <laughs> see I can't, I can't do it now, like nervous to tell people about pregnancy, the word I was looking for was reluctant, I think. that That's the perfect word, reluctant to tell people. Yes, yeah, so I'm doing hair this evening. I'm also doing hair tomorrow, so I am home. So I may speak to you in the morning. But my first client's at midday, and then I've got another one at 4.30, so I'm pretty much doing hair all day. And then Saturday I'm at the shop, and then Sunday I'm home. And I'm having Sunday as a definite day off. But, but I just feel like I haven't had a Sunday of not doing anything and I really love my lazy Sundays. I'll probably sign off for this evening and then perhaps speak to you again tomorrow but yeah I felt like we had a good chat today. I really like being able to talk so openly with you all about everything and it's like having another group of friends to just talk things through with so I'm very grateful to be able to do this and to have you guys um, to chat with so I thought I would just tell you that <laughs> because it's always nice to hear. Good morning everyone, oh it's good afternoon everyone, very much afternoon. I have just been editing this vlog back, um, so I'm going to finish this vlog now um, because it's already quite long. And I mentioned that I was going to talk to you about our second bedroom and my plans for it because I'm not renovating by any stretch of the imagination but I do feel like there's a bit of a time frame now to get things done that I just haven't got around to doing but should have already been done for before the baby comes. And one of those things is putting up pictures in both the bedrooms because they're both very bare at the moment. This will be kind of the baby's room, but we're not gonna make it into a nursery because we rent the space, we rent the space, we rent the flat and there's just not much point. And we, so the story is, double bed in here is our double bed that we own. Um, the double bed in our bedroom was provided by the landlords, which when we moved in was great because we were like, amazing, we don't have to buy another double bed. Um, and then we've also got a spare bed already for when people come and stay. So I don't want to get rid of this double bed and I also love it. It's from Maid and it's like, it was like the first, one of the first big adult things that we bought and I felt really like, we're proper adults now. Like, I feel like buying a sofa and a bed and those things you're just like oh my god we're grown-ups it was more of an investment than just like oh we need a bed let's just buy something cheap from ikea and we still want to have people come and stay even well especially when the baby's here because we're going to need help so i don't want to take this bed down and there's not a lot of space in this room for anything else hence why i said i'm going to um get rid of the computer but I do want to make this room just feel a little bit more cosy for when the baby's here and put some pictures up. You can see I went a bit daring with the bedspread. <laughs> I'm not sure why I did this, but I was just a bit like, this is a room that I can add colour to. And I think I like the actual duvet more than the pillows. I think I'll just keep those white, actually. But anyway, also this Hoover, I've talked about in a vlog before. It's rubbish. Don't buy it. It's from Vax. It doesn't suck up properly. <laughs> and... I've I've got my eye on that Vax all in one where you can hoover up liquid as well as like normal dust. Okay, this conversation is, is way too mummy than I wanted it to be, but anyway, and there's our Christmas tree because nowhere else to put it. But I definitely feel like you can see just how vast this white wall is. So I definitely want to put on here, I think, one of those shelves that you can then lean like photo frames all on. And then you can change them quite frequently. And I also think I might want to put something on this wall. Uh, maybe something baby related I mean maybe something up here as well I don't know that might be too much I've meant to buy bedside tables for this room since we moved in I don't think that's going to be that practical now that we need more space um, so I'm glad I didn't do that and then in our bedroom again this really stark wall above the bed but the only thing in here is Hainsley and I get why but Hainsley's quite funny about having things hanging above the bed 
you could wake up in the middle of the night and be worried it's going to fall on your head but it just means that that wall is very very plain um i have a macrame thing which is like a tapestry but it's quite small that i think i'm going to put on the wall between the windows i wanted to do the shelving with the pictures above our bed but i think that's just going to be too far for hainsley he won't have that at all so i need something like i'd like a tapestry or something soft i feel like to put there rather than picture frames or maybe soft picture fr i don't know but i definitely want to put something on these walls just to make the rooms feel a little bit more cozy before the baby comes maybe i'm nesting but i just know it won't get done otherwise I am now going to end this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to upload a picture to Instagram today, which I haven't done for ages. Um, and it's going to be me talking about being pregnant because I haven't really announced on Instagram um, that I'm having a baby. That's very exciting. But yeah, head over there if you want to follow me, if, if you fancy, although I'm not really that active on there, but I guess I'll maybe I'll try and do that a bit more. I need to take the rubbish downstairs and all that boring stuff. I've got a little bit of work to do but otherwise it's a nice casual Sunday which I'm very much enjoying I hope you're having a lovely casual Sunday too or whatever day you're watching this on I hope it's going well don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you on my next one Mwah.